Tier, what's the week of practice been like? What's it been like in Miami? And uh, how have you wrapped your head around being in the college football playoff? Yeah, I think so far this week has been good. There's been, you know, a combination of, you know, fun events and um, great hospitality by the Orange Bowl. And I think, you know, so far we've in, enjoyed our time, but also taken a level of seriousness, you know, to this week. You know, obviously we're playing for a championship. It's not just a common bowl game. So I think, you know, the team is serious. And so far this week, we've had a good week of practice. Our next question for Max Goldwasser. Go ahead, Max. Max, unmute your line if you're ready. There, to there, figured it out. Okay, yeah, this one's for Cade. So you talk about competing eventually for a national championship. The last quarterback to do that with Michigan was none other than Tom Brady. Have you spoken to him at all? And if so, what's he telling you? Um, I haven't spoken to him quite recently. I spoke to him when I did, you know, my, the shoot for the Brady brand. But other than that, I haven't spoken to him. The next question for Lainey Higgins. Go ahead, Lainey. Hey there, guys. Thanks for doing this. Um, I had a question just kind of about how this matchup is going to shake out. Because obviously, Georgia's defense has been heralded as one of the best in the nation. But at the same time, you guys are going to be playing behind an offensive line that just won the Joe Moore Award. So I was wondering if you could kind of walk me through how you think um, your offense matches up against, you know, the front seven and the secondary that you'll be facing on Friday. Yeah, we're well aware of that. Um, you know, that they're especially their front in their boxes, you know, very talented. But I think, you know, the heart and soul of our offense is, um, is our O line. And I think if anyone's in the country is going to block them, it's going to be our dudes. So, you know, I think we, you know, we size up well to them. And I think, you know, obviously it'll be a good challenge, but, you know, we're looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And next question for Jennifer Hammond. Go ahead, Jennifer. Hi, I am unmuted. Can you both hear me, Hassan and Cade? Yeah, we can. Hello, Jennifer Hammond, Fox 2, Detroit. I'm going to ask this question, and I would like each of you both to answer it. And Hassan, we can start with you. Just give me a All sense right. of some of the things you guys have been doing down here and what it means for team building and bonding. I know that we've heard a lot this season about this being a very close-knit team. Tell me what it's been like just to be down here together and, and working towards this goal on Friday. And then also a follow-up that I'm going to ask before we even get to that. Can you also just talk to me a little bit about um, the emotions of, of your coach and what he's been saying to you? So if you can just start with the team building. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's just a blessing to be down here, you know, with the team and, uh, and this, this great weather out here in Florida. And uh, we just did like different events, like Kay said earlier, like, you know, we just did team bonding, like we went to the beach one day and uh, we just did different events like that, you know, so they're definitely bringing the team closer and just just bonding, you know, so um, that's pretty much it. And um, the second question, what was, what was your second question again? Yeah. My second question, sorry, they muted me. Um, the uh, second question was about coach and what his demeanor has been like and how he has kind of approached the week with you guys. Is he asking you to enjoy the ride and enjoy it? And also I would love Cade to follow up on both questions too. Thank you. Uh, yeah, his, his demeanor been, been the same. You know, uh, we still got a, a game to play. So, you know, we still got to take things serious, but try to enjoy our time when we can. But when we need to lock in, we need to lock in. So that's, that's pretty much his demeanor. And, uh, you know, so. Um, as far as, you know, the team and its bonding so far, I think, you know, as you mentioned, this team is a super close knit team. We, we really enjoy being with each other. And I think this week has done nothing but, you know, help us grow in that fashion. We've, you know, as H2 mentioned that we've done a lot of events. We've, you know, spent a lot of time, whether that was the beach or um, in the game room. And I think, you know, Truly, these dudes, you know, really enjoy being around each other. And I think, you know, as we're coming up to, you know, the last month of our season, you know, we're trying to make the most out of those moments because, you know, obviously this team will never be the same after this. And um, as far as Coach Harbaugh, he, I mean, same as what H2 said, this is, he's been exactly the same. Um, his demeanor has been, you know, serious and, um, 
you know, we're taking a level of, you know, uh, we're taking, you know, preparation at the highest extent. So I, I, I appreciate that from him. Okay, next question's from John Neo. Go ahead, John. Hey, uh, Hassan, I was asking some of your teammates this the other day, but if you could pick one highlight of yours this season to show to an NFL GM, what would it be and why? And then, Kate, I guess you, since you've sort of had the best seat in the house watching him run, do you have a favorite from this season? Uh, I mean, it's so many plays, you know. It's, I don't, uh, let me see, let me see. It's so many that I can pick pick from but probably one one of mine from this season is probably um let me see probably just the the whole old state game you know that was that was a, a so real moment you know and uh it was a fun moment you know so that, that probably that whole game <laughs> to be honest you know so that was that's probably probably my pick yeah, I think H2 has done – set some huge plays for us as a team. Um, you know, his contribution to this team is is so big, and especially this offense. And I think – I mean, to narrow it down to one play, it's pretty tough. But, you know, one that sticks out in my mind is a, his, his hurdle against Nebraska. I thought that was pretty sick. <laughs> Our next question for Tim Reynolds. Go ahead, Tim. Good morning, guys. Tim Reynolds with the Associated Press here in Miami. Uh, my question's for Hassan. Um, you guys have probably noticed that it's a little warm down here, a little mm -hmm. humid down here. How much have coaches been talking to you about hydration and kind of going back to almost like training camp kind of mentality on that front with it? Because it's going to be the warmest game you guys have played in a while. Hey, most definitely. Uh, you tell us, stay stay hydrated, you know, drink water. And uh, and we just, during practice, we just get in that uh, – just try to try to get used to the weather and the humid and all that and things like that, you know. So we just we just um he he keep telling us that you know drinking water and stuff like that. So uh, we definitely been doing that and uh you know we we get we getting used to used to the, the humid and, and the heat. So Okay, this is uh, Anthony Dasher, UJSports.com. I was just curious during the Brady Brand uh, photo shoot, did you get a chance to meet George Pickens? And, uh, and if so, did y'all talk much about this ball game? Did I have the chance to meet who? Yeah, George, George Pickens for Georgia, the Brady, Brady Brand uh, photo shoot. Oh, no, no, I didn't get I, – I didn't meet him. Okay, thank you. Okay, next question for Michael Cohen. Go ahead, Michael. Hey guys, um, I was just wondering, did Dax Hill travel down with the team for this game? Um, you know, our it's not our job to comment on you know other players, so we'll let Coach Harbaugh answer that question. And next question is from Zach Shaw. Go ahead, Zach. Hassan, uh, obviously the Georgia front seven's been talked about a lot. I'm curious, uh, as someone who you know, kind of embraces contact, runs the way that you do. Are you are you excited for this matchup to see kind of what you've got and and I guess your thoughts on on what it'll look like in the trenches there? Hey, most definitely. You know, we we, we know they got a good first seven, you know, but we, we got a good online, you know. So uh, it's gonna be a fun physical game, you know, and I, I like them type of game, you know, so it's gonna determine who who want who want it who want the game the most, you know. So uh we're going to see you on Friday. And hey, next question is from Casey Jones. Go ahead, Casey. Thanks, guys. Uh, Casey Jones with TV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, my question is for both of you, too, Cade and Hassan. Uh, obviously, we know the phrase, those who stay will be champions, and it applies to both of you. Can you just tell, tell us what it means to your game and your time at Michigan personally? what those words mean to you? Um, I think, you know, for me, um, I, it just takes me back to the place I was my freshman year when I first enrolled here. I've, you know, I was a red shirt. I didn't see any playing time. I, 
um, you know, I felt like this team was in a much different place, especially, you know, with, you know, you know, honestly, the connection between the guys, the culture, I think it was just, you know, a different vibe in Schembechler Hall. And I think, you know, I mean, obviously we won some games in 2019, but we didn't, um, you know, but we didn't win a, a Big Ten championship or beat Ohio State. And I think, you know, when I think of those who say we'll be champions, I just think of how far, you know, this program has come in the last two years, um, especially following last season, what a disappointment that was. And, um, you know, it feels good that, you know, we can say that phrase with confidence now. Yeah. Uh, on my half, yeah, just, just since freshman year, uh, just moving to linebacker and then coming back to running back, it's my journey been a little different, you know. So uh, the culture on this team definitely changed, and uh, and I'm loving it. You know, so uh, everybody's just been buying in, coaches, players, and uh, we're just all coming together, you know. And uh, it's the energy is is top tier. So, you know. All right, we're gonna take two more questions here. Next one's for David Hale. Go ahead, David. Hey, Cade. I I'm curious. You have a sort of a unique throwing motion. Um, how did that develop? And have you had coaches like along the way try to? tweak how you deliver the ball or that or kind of uh make you into more of a traditional thrower why does it work for you and and, and how does how does that sort of come about for you um I mean I've I began throwing um the baseball when I was younger and then in sixth grade I decided to play quarterback um I've been training with Jordan Palmer since seventh grade and you know he hasn't Obviously, we're always working on something, but I wouldn't say, you know, I have a very, you know, odd throwing motion, but I, you know, all we do is try and get better. And I think, you know, however that looks, I don't think there's a really a patent on how you're supposed to throw a football. I think, you know, a lot of dudes you know, have different motions that work for them and their body types. And I think, you know, mine is I'm able to change my arm angle. I'm able to, you know, get a, I'm not maybe the tallest quarterback, but I can, you know, find windows to make throws. And, um, you know, I'm confident in my ability to throw a football. And, you know, obviously I want to do is get better at it. But I think, you know, my throwing motion is just, um, it's evolved and, you know, I'm doing the best I can to make it as efficient as possible. All right, last question here for Bob Wojnowski. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, for Cade and also Hassan, if you could answer too. You you both have sort of mentioned the culture change and how different it is just in the last couple of years. Um, was there something or someone that sparked that change initially? Honestly, I really think it was the players. You know, the leaders on this team had had enough, and we knew that something had to change following last season. That we had to be different. We had to, you know, we had to change the way we were doing things, whether we thought you know, that we were too cool or whatever the, whatever the reasons were we had, to, I just felt like there were some issues on the team that we had to handle and we had to come together. And, um, I really think, you know, it's been mentioned that this team is really player driven. And I think that's true that, you know, the guys on this team care about, you know, what this team looks like, what this, how this team carries itself and the combination of the change that coach Harbaugh wanted to make. I think it has created a result and a really great culture that we have here. Yeah, to add that, like Kay said, uh, the team is pretty much player driven and uh, and the coaches buy down with that, you know. So um, the coaches has been great, you know, and uh, Kay pretty much explained it all. <laughs> so. All right, thanks guys. We appreciate your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, next up, we're going to have offensive